What is going on guys? Lindy Endzone back again with another video. What is up? Um, I gotta get this out of the way. Uh, the Mavericks are not in good graces right now. I'm just, and I, I'm, you know, like I said in videos prior, I don't want to overreact. I, I really don't, but they're, they're just, they're not in, in, a, in a good position. Um, Predictably, they end another winning streak by taking a brutal loss to the Houston Rockets. And, man, um, they got to get it together. Rick Carlisle's got to get it together with these, you know. He, I, and I understand he's doing the best he can with, um, you know, with this roster rotation and uh, the amount of players that are still out on COVID protocol. I believe we're missing at least four or five players. Um, Josh Richardson. Um, uh, Dwight Powell, Maxi Kleba, and there's one other guy I'm missing. I'm not sure. Uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, he is also on the protocol. So, I mean, I get it, but at at the same time, I mean, some of the some of the decisions he's making from a coaching standpoint, I just don't I, I don't understand it. Um, so I'll go to the last game because I didn't do much coverage on it. Um, we suppressed a fourth quarter um, comeback by the San Antonio Spurs to hold them off 122 to 117. Um, this was the second game in a row where Kristaps Porzingis was, um, you know, coming off of a knee injury. And this is the second game in a row that he's playing over 30 minutes. Um, and, you know, I, I get that you want one of your star players on the floor, but when you're in a compromised position as Dallas is with the players that you have out and your depth is not very good whatsoever at the power forward center position, um, really Porzingis should not be listed as a power forward. He should be listed as a center. Um, and it shown greatly as to what he was able to do, especially against the Indiana Pacers. Um, he got what he wanted, when he wanted, how he wanted it, under, you know, just right underneath the basket. Um, and in this game, he was still um, pretty productive. He shot 50% from the field. He was 60% from three. He shot three of five. He made all of his free throws, even though, um, you know, even though he was only four for four from the charity stripe, he finished uh, with 21 points, eight boards, a couple of blocks in there. Um you know, and, and this was another one of those games where, you know, I'll bring it over to Luca again. I, I understand you're not working with much right now, but your smart your shot selection's gotta be smarter than what it is. Um he shot thirteen to twenty eight from the field, that's not even fifty percent. If you're the point guard of this team, if you're the point guard or if you're you know, and if and if you're shooting the ball, if you're shooting the ball at the volume at you at you are you gotta be you, you just gotta be smarter with your decisions um he finished this game um 36 9 and 11 um but he was in foul trouble he had five fouls that game and it's just for for a player to not be as good um from behind the arc as he is um Luca should not be taking more than 10 three point attempts. That's just too much. Um, the rest of the team, the rest of the team only averages about five to six, and uh, depending on how hot the player is. And if I, I, I don't know, like if, if you're gonna, you, you just gotta be smarter. You gotta be smarter on the court than what you're doing. Um, you know, especially for as good of a passer Luca is. I mean, you know. I understand, like he he tries to get his teammates involved as best as he can, but you know at the same time if they're not knocking down shots, I mean, you know Tim Hardaway Jr. He's too inconsistent. Jalen Brunson shows up every now and then. I don't really trust him either. Um, there's a we got a number of rookies in there playing some minutes, um, even though uh, he did not. Carlisle did not have the rookies play. Um, against the Spurs, and he did not have Boban play against the Spurs, which um, threw me off a little bit, especially when um, Willie Cauley Stein is, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, when Cauley Stein is your only other center, like listed as center under Boban, and he only gets 15 minutes. I just, 
I don't I don't get it. Um, and then we'll go to the Rockets game here. Um, I got notes up on I got notes up on my screen. I just gotta um, give it a minute here to see if it comes up. So, you know, and I get that this was a back to back and, you know, the players are probably obviously the players are probably tired and whatnot and what, you know, what is going on here? This computer is fucking up on me. I chose the Rockets game and then it goes to the Spurs game. Yes. I want the Mavericks game. Yeah, there we go. So, in a back-to-back, -back, um, yeah, like like I said, I I understand that the players are are tired, but you know, I just just the way the rotations were, um, I we didn't have Porzingis this game, um, you know, just resting, re rehabilitating his right knee. Ugh. You know, here like here we go again. Not seeing him consistently on the court. Um, you know, you get, and and this is the problem I have. You know, you're playing, you're playing guys as starters who are not starters. Tim Hardaway Jr. is not a starter. He's not consistent enough to be a starter. And you know, I get it. Back to back games, but you can't give a guy 31 minutes when. He just can't <laughs> – when you can't get your act together on the court, you can't give a guy 31 minutes to go 4 of 13 from the field. He only makes one of his six three-point attempts, and he sits at a 19 at – a, at a negative 19 and a plus minus. I just uh, – I, you know, and <laughs> you – you play you play Boban you play Boban this game, but you don't give him minutes against the Spurs. I didn't get that. Um, you know, once again, Willie Cauley Stein he started this game, still only got under twenty minutes. Uh, I understand he was a minus twenty six, but you, you, you know, if you need defense, you need you need your best guys out there on the floor. I mean, what? It's frustrating, especially with Luca's numbers. You know, he shot less. Luca shot less instead of um, against the Spurs. He shot ten fewer baskets. He was nine of eighteen. That's still, it's just still not efficient enough for a point guard. Um, you know, one of six from three. Another cold spurt. He's got to clean up his free throws. He only shot seven of twelve. Um, but he still finished the game 26, 5, and 8. I mean, those are decent numbers. Uh, yeah, but he still had three turnovers. He didn't have any fouls. I mean, I get it. I get it. Back-to-back -back games, staying in Texas. But, you know, if if I remember correctly, now let me go to the Rockets roster here. Um, they had a John Wall that was not 100%. And Christian Wood didn't play. Yet your defense manages to allow DeMarcus Cousins to go 28, 17, and 5. And Eric Gordon, of all people, scores 33 points. Where's the defense? <laughs> I mean, you don't. It, it, it's, it's totally misunderstanding to me as to how this team plays in, as inconsistent as they do at times. I, I mean, I sometimes I don't. I don't get what Rick Carl's trying to establish at times. Um, the the minutes rotation is not the greatest. It, man, I, I don't know. The, this team is they they shouldn't be they shouldn't be at a 500 record. Um, they're coming up on 20 games in. Um, we gotta hope that we get our guys back from protocol soon. Um, there's there's speculation that we could be seeing them back um, I think as early as Tuesday and you know hopefully and before the quote unquote all star weekend um, yeah they they need it they need to continue to build on this chemistry because it's just it's 
it, it's not looking good right now. It it really isn't, especially is especially at the start of the season when um, you're looking at Luke. Everybody was looking at Luka Doncic as one of the, as one of the MVP favorites, if not the favorite to win the MVP, and <laughs> and yet you got all this stuff going on around you, and you know it just doesn't it, it doesn't add up very well, but. I, they need to. They just. They need to get their act together, and um, hopefully, hopefully, we get Luca some help at the trade deadline. Just because you know some of these guys just they just don't cut it. They don't cut it. But um, hopefully, we can. Yeah, like I said, hopefully we can bounce back. Um, we get we get a decent rest. Um, we don't. We play the. Denver Nuggets in a couple of days. Um, if I'm not mistaken, today is the yeah. So we only get a day of rest in between the Rockets and the Nuggets game. We play Denver tomorrow at 8:30. Um, let's look at the line on that for a second. So <laughs> yeah, we are not the favorite to win in this game, unfortunately. Well, it's. No surprise. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see here. Porzingis is day to day, and it looks like our COVID protocol players are still going to be out. Yeah. I don't know. Don't like my chances against Den Denver struggling. Um, Denver's struggling a little bit. They're sitting at nine and seven, but they're staying competitive as possible in the Western Conference. And um, yeah, if Porzingis doesn't play, I don't know who I don't know who can manage to suppress Nikola Jokic. I mean, the dude's averaging twenty six and twelve right now. With <laughs> he, he's he's averaging as a big man, the man's averaging almost a triple double, and it's. And we just don't have – we don't have the caliber of depth to, you know, just to be able to control that kind of guy right now. And, um, yeah, I, I hope we can swing things around soon. It's not looking good for me as a Mavericks fan right now. Um, they they just need to be better all around. They need to get healthy. I'm sick of Porzingis. I'm sick of him being seen on the bench, not 100%. And – um you know, we, we just need to better manage this roster going forward. I'm, you know, I'm tired of talking about it because you're, you know, you got, you got a franchise player in the palm of your hands and, and this is what he's dealing with right now, but it is what it is. Um, that'll be it for, that'll be it for the Mavs. Um, like I said, they face the Denver Nuggets tomorrow and hopefully they're rested well enough to, try and build another winning streak but that'll do it for this video on the Mavs uh, this has been Lindy Enzone and I'll catch y'all in the next one